Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic fire effect using Photoshop's Generative Fill AI. It's an amazing feature that can transform your images in just a few steps. So, let's get started. We opened our photo for the fire effect. Let's install the Photoshop brushes. Click File, Open. Select Fire Brushes and click Open. You can download these brushes from the link shown in the description below. Next, open the Brushes panel by clicking on Window and then Brushes. Here, you can see the installed fire brushes. Select the brush tool and set both the brush opacity and flow to 100%. Now, let's choose a color for the fire. I prefer a bright orange, but you can pick any fiery color you like. After selecting the color, pick a fire brush from the brushes panel. We'll need to adjust the size of the brush to fit our image. You can do this easily using the bracket keys on your keyboard. Now, create a new layer to apply the fire effect. Make sure this new layer is selected and then start painting the fire onto your image. To make the fire effect stronger, apply a few more brush strokes. If you want to intensify the fire effect, you can duplicate this layer and merge it. Then, create a new layer beneath the brush layer and fill it with black. Great! Now, select the brush layer and make a selection around the fire effect. Click on Generative Fill and type the prompt Fire. Then click Generate. You'll see the fire effect applied where we use the brushes. Photoshop will also show different variations of this effect. If you want more variations, just click Generate again. Let's try a different prompt to see how it changes the effect. Type Fire Flames and click Generate. That looks even better. Now, let's try one more prompt. Fire and smoke. Click generate again. Wow, that looks amazing. Now, to blend this fire effect with our photo, hide the brush layer and the black color layer beneath the generative fill layer. Select the generative fill layer and set the blending mode to screen. Now, we have a realistic fire effect seamlessly blended with our photo. The best part is that you can choose from multiple variations to find the one you like the most. That's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome AI and Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and happy editing.